Hello dear friends, how are you? I hope you all are good. Now in today's session, okay, uh, first we will revise our whatever song, whatever we saw in previous lecture. Okay, uh, we saw in previous lecture whatever our crystal field splitting in uh, tetrahedral complexes and crystal field splitting in octahedral complexes. Okay. Now, before starting applications of CFT, that is crystal field theory, we will discuss here, say, the orbital splitting in square planar complexes. So, pay attention here. See, beta. D orbitals splitting, D orbitals splitting A. In square planar complexes, square planar complexes. So we have to mention here some theoretical background also with respect to what we done. Yes, with respect to our d orbital splitting in square planar complexes. So see here. As you know, uh, this square planar complexes we have to deal with the help of, or we can say on the basis of our octahedron. Okay, say as like this, as you know, our octahedron as like this. Say your central layer, metal atom. Okay, here we can, we can, okay. What will happen here in first case, in first point, say when two ligands, when two ligands on the z axis, say when two ligands on the z axis of an octahedron of an orbital. Octahedron are removed, are removed, then leaving only what? Then leaving only the ligands in, in what we have? XY plane. In XY Plane. Now see here what will happen in next point, say second point. As the z axis, as the z axis ligands, ligands move away, the ligands in square planar, the ligands. In square planar move a little bit closer to the central metal atom. As you know, the z axis when we remove, okay, as the z axis, z -axis ligands, they are move away, the ligands in the square planar move a little bit closer. Okay, now we will discuss your third point, very much important. As the ligands move along the z-axis, as you know, as the ligands move along the z-axis, what will happen? The orbitals, the orbitals with z component, the orbital with z component, will fall in energy will fall in energy okay so here next thing what will happen the diesel square orbital the diesel square orbital falls most falls most Okay, 
and we have to mention here fourth point C. What will be the our fourth point? The dx one, the dx one and d by z orbitals. Also draw in energy. Okay. But in opposite to that, or we can say conversely, conversely, the d square by square, conversely, the d square by square and d x y orbitals and d x y orbitals, their energy we want increase a energy will increase so from the above this data what we conclude here we conclude see what we conclude from the above this statement regarding the orbital splitting in square yes the orbital splitting in square planar complexes with the more energy difference what we conclude see the CFC order form with respect to all the CFC order with respect to all means what we does yes here tetrahedral, octahedral and square planar complexes see uh, what will happen yes square planar complexes have a greater energy than what Orbital octahedral than orbital here tetrahedral. Okay. Now how we can represent to so say here beta? How we can uh, represent here diagrammatically? See. Yes, the G outside because here octahedral field and here what P two G. Now see how it will split. So it will split like this. Yes, dx square by square. See, dz square of their energy. As like this, dx square by square increase in energy. We wrote in statements. As you know, dx square so what increase in energy. And what about this a? dx z. Okay, the decrease in energy understood. So see here, we got here diagrams for the orbital splitting for your a square planar complexes. Okay. So these are what important regarding your crystal field splitting in square planar complexes. Okay. So now we will move towards say now we will move towards whatever our next part that is say what will be our next part that is applications. Okay, so pay attention you see beta applications of crystal field theory. We have to Right. Okay. See. Of metal iron. So, see, 
we will discuss first regarding octahedral field. Okay. So see you. Configuration of metal ion octahedral is octahedral field. It is very much important. See, as you know, we are drawing like this. Okay. And here in octahedral field, as you know, First side there is the EG of vitals, down side is what? Down side there is the ES beta, T2G or vitals, and in between distance we are calling it the word del O, that is octahedral, mean energy level. Okay, now here we are going to discuss uh, regarding applications of crystal field theory, that is, say, Mean pairing energy. What we do? Mean pairing energy. See what it is. Mean pairing energy. So it is the energy required to pair it up to the electrons in an orbital. It is the energy. to pair up two electrons in an orbital in an orbitals with what your mean pairing energy so you have to mention here most important part that is whenever you are ligand so we are considering whether you are strong field or weak field ligand so see when ligand it has delta 0 is greater than pairing energy ok listen carefully because it is very much important for your theoretical aspects also ok this statement directly given in your NCRD also ok so see when ligands at that time when delta 0 is greater than pairing energy so Electrons will pair it up. What will be done? Electrons will gain what? Electrons will gain pair it up. Okay. And this condition it is called what? Strong field ligands. Okay. Means here, see, diagrammatically, uh, we will observe here. When your delta zero is greater, okay, delta zero is greater than pairing energy. So, when obviously electrons will pair up downside only. Okay. Now, in another case, say when reverse, delta zero is less than pairing energy. So, delta zero less than pairing energy it means what? Whatever that neck electrons will jumps to higher energy level means whatever your EG or vitals okay so we can write here here for weak field ligands delta 0 is less than pairing energy and for strong field ligands del 0 is greater than your pairing energy you have to keep in mind so here what we can write no pairing will no pairing will Okay, so see, uh, I will revise once. What will happen? Delta is greater than pairing energy means what? When you delta, this difference is greater. Okay, when this difference is greater, at that time, your whatever electrons will pair up downside. Okay, and when your delta zero is less than pairing energy, at that time, your this electron instead of pairing, that electron goes upside. Okay. So it is very much important and it is a frequently asked questions also. Okay. Or we can hear in short, in the presence of strong field again, electron pairing will take place. In the presence of weak field again, no pairing will take place. Okay. Now here we will uh, mention beta. Okay. Suppose in this diagram only we will mention another concept. So say we have to derive the formula for CF 
is C. So see, as you know, the difference between these two. Suppose if we draw here mean energy level, okay. Now here as you know the difference how much? Yes, 0.6 del 0. 0.6 del 0. And here difference is how much? We can write here this difference how much? 0.4 del 0. So here we can write the formula for so see as like this. See. We can do that. So, suppose if we are considering here as a zero, so what will happen? Downside, upside plus uh, means their energy will increase. So plus here what decay therefore minus. Okay. Now on the face of this, we can try the formula for C A S A. So C A S A is equal to write down del zero is equal to minus what? Yes, minus 0.4 plus number of electrons in T2J, number of electrons in T2J plus 0.6 into number of electrons in Aj. So we have to keep in mind this problem. Whenever we have to calculate crystal field, Stabilization, sorry, crystal field splitting energy. Okay, then zero is equal to what? Minus 0.4. Okay, okay. Minus 0.4 plus a means what number of electrons in P2G subsidy or P2G orbital electron plus 0.6 into number of electrons in Ag subsidy or we can say Ag or vitals. Okay. Now second uh, thing we will discuss here that is say second applications uh, of crystal field theory say that is as you know magnetic nature of complex magnetic nature of complex so see here what will happen magnetic nature of complex. So as you know the basic information regarding magnetic nature, there are two types of complexes we saw, which are those beta, yes, which are those complexes we saw, paramagnetic and diamagnetic. And before only we discuss what? Regarding your paramagnetic, paramagnetic uh, complex are, are what? They are strongly attracted by magnetic field. Whereas diamagnetic complexes are what? They are weakly repelled by what? Magnetic field. So we can say repelled by magnetic field. So this thing you must know here. Paramagnetic reward. Yes, attracted by magnetic field and your Diamagnetic are what? Yes, repelled by magnetic field. Okay. Now, uh, when, as you know, when n is equal to zero, n is what? Yes, number of unpaid electrons. When n is zero, at that time, you have a complex. We call it as a what? Yes. Diamagnetic and when it is not equal to zero, something value is there. At that time, your that coordination complex is what? Yes. Diamagnetic in nature. We saw already this ticket. So these are what? We can say as a your second part. Okay. What we are here? Second part regarding second part regarding your applications of crystal field theory. Okay. Now we will discuss here third that is color of complexes. So pay attention on this. 
very much important. Again, see, in third is the love of complexes. So as you know, where any substance they are giving color. First is what? Due to presence of unpaired electrons and they it must undergo what? DD transition. Then and then only it will show a color. Okay. Now see it can be explained on the basis of DD transition also and what presence of unpaired electrons. Okay. Here uh, we can represent like this. Suppose here, see, as you know, what these are degenerate or vital seeds. Okay. See, we can show here like this. Suppose here octagonal field. So A G and here what beta A two G. Okay. Suppose here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now the here unpaired electrons are there. So suppose a light, a beam of light is uh, affected or we can say attack of light on these unpaired electrons. So what will happen? Okay, so what will happen here? Energy absorbed and energy will absorb by that electron and they will what? Okay, and they are giving us what a complementary color. Okay, means we can say, as you know, beta is yes, uh, very much part is important part is what yes, energy is released, no doubt. So, some wavelength also uh, it will what some wavelength also will create a okay, electrons will excite and we are giving us what a complementary color okay so here we can mention say the color is observed corresponding to the absorbed color okay color is say we can write as a color is observed color is observed Corresponding to corresponding color is also corresponding to the absorbed color absorbed color and this color is known as and this color is known
here see d0 d0 complexes complexes d0 d0 orbital electrons so uh, now only we saw minimal d0 or d10 at that time that complex that metal ion will not show color but here okay but here what it are is exceptional means here no inner pair electron okay so but they are uh, what we can say one more important point they are showing color in their base solution okay at base solution okay now it is what it is because of what due to charge transfer what due to due to charge transfer okay your this both are showing color complementary color they are showing okay see here charge transfer between suppose if you are considering charge transfer between mn and o2 minus so what will happen say from from o2 minus one electron transfer and momentarily to a main transfer to a main so as that it is again show o2 minus by one electron will transfer so you will get what o minus plus this mn so because of this transfer of one electron from oxygen you will get here what color okay means whatever color of this complex is of your permanganate ion and the potassium element of permanganate ion or we can say what dichromate ion is because of charge transfer or we can say not because of dd transition okay there is one bed electron also okay now we have to discuss here one question okay see okay then so so these are what regarding our relations of crystal field theory i hope you understood this part now uh, right we have one question uh, it is very much important so see here uh, uh, what will happen in this question so see which of the following complexes which of the following which of the following complex will be colored will be colored okay which of the following complex will be colored so here say we will write capital a as a co in three six or co in three six Three plus small b we can write C U F C A minus small c what C R C N six three minus small d here is F A C N six three minus small e small e what we give. F H two six three plus okay. Now we have to check among these all complexes which one they are showing what we have color. So see here, you must know here what electronic configuration. Okay, so see and you must know you must aware about. What oxidation number of that certain metal atom here? So cobalt, yes, metal, yes, CO3 plus. Immediately you can draw, okay? Cobalt, cobalt what? 3d7 or H2. So that three electron will go out. Then what we get here? 3d6 or H0, okay? Now see here, 3d6. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ammonia here. What? Strong field again. So are you remembering B B or ammonia also? In that N plus N 
word is number number six plus three oxidation number at that time your ammonia is behave that the word always strong feeling and okay so it can paired up so paired up so suppose I will draw here yes here electrons will paired up so one two three four five six now yes they will show color no what is diamagnetic therefore it is what is colorless understood it is what colorless see so here suppose if you are considering this you have 60 minus yes what will happen here regarding your slope of 60 minus yes in this cobalt also here also your plus 3 so 3 plus Yes, same here it will come 36 to the 0. Now we will cross shape with a big 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So every one you will fill again. So it will pair up or not? Yes, it will not pair up because it is. Yes, we will fill again. So all electrons will remain as it is. They has a tendency to show color because there is an unpaired electron. So here we can mention colored complex. Okay. So suppose we have CRC in 63 minus. So we will see what will happen here. As you know, here immediately, Tatumala, immediately Kartala Paja oxidation number CR AS3 plus P. So CR3 plus. Chromium is what? Yes, chromium is your 3D value. 4 is one. Okay, so that 3 electrons will go. How much remain? 3D, 3, 4 is 0. So as like this. Okay, so here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 8, 1, 2, 3 only. See. So CN is what? Strong field again. So purpose of your pairing is not completing, so your unpaid electron will remain as it is. So your part A is also your colored complex. Now to see what will happen regarding your FP. FP3 plus, yes, you must know what will be the outermost electron configuration for your normal FP. Yes, 3D6, 4S2, TK. So how much it will remain? 3D6 for H2, that's 2 and 1, yes. 3D5 and 4 is 0. Now you tell me here. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sign at strong field again. Purpose of pairing is not completing. Therefore, here what? Yes, beta. Unpaid electrons are there, so here the R W R electrons are there. Okay. Now suppose C. If we here also here three plus. Now three five same condition, but your water is what filling in, so electrons will remain as it is. Now here. 2, 3, 4, 5 color color only so see here yes so I hope you understood this all whatever question we discussed here okay I hope you understood now beta we will discuss next question so ready for this ready for, for uh, next Question. Okay. Which in which complexes there is a more bigger transition? Okay. So see here. We will discuss next question. See the value. The value of CL AC that is PO for the following complexes for the
following complexes will be in the order of will be in the order of the order of succession you have to tell me the order of this complex complex is on the base of that cfc value that is delta zero value so see here what again examples see over the six meters first there of the average is in its three six meters there of the again is i r in its three six Three plus this was second and what in third. Now you have to tell me on the basis of what. Okay, then C A B C the delta zero value will be equal to C A. As you know, on the basis of what we can conclude here, their increasing order. Okay, on the basis of their C A B C value. See if we are considering on this matter, supermodel. So we already discussed the now. See, so your first complex there is a CO, that is O1. Okay. Then next there is a RH, rhodium. Next what? Iridium. So are you remembering in which in which series it is? Yes, as you know, your O1 in which series? Three D series. Your R H in what? Are you remembering R H is Rab, Monita, Rub, Rab, Pedia, like that or mnemonic of this over four D series. Okay, four D series. Rhodium. Now obviously here what? Iridium it is in five D series. So as you know, when C A B C value uh, we saw already in factor suffixing. Uh, when we are going from moving from 3D to 4D, C A B C value increased by 32, 40 percent. Okay, then for highly valued score, what? Yes, your third complex, then second complex, then first complex. Okay, understood this. Such type of what? Such type of questions they may ask in your exam, competitive exam. so you have to concentrate on this question i hope you are writing this all you are doing proper notes okay and you are uh, reading also continuously okay now we will discuss beta next okay so see you we will discuss uh, next arrange the following complex in increasing order of density they who Minus, 
first absolute state of CA.